Hello guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video. I'm so excited to take you guys with me to Barnes & Noble today. We're gonna go to a few. And I don't really need to bookshop. There's no books on my list that I wanna go buy. I feel like I have a pretty big TBR for December already, but I haven't been to Barnes in a few weeks. I think since Haley and Destiny were here when we bookshopped together, but I just wanna go into like the aura, the setting and all of that of Barnes. You ever just wanna walk through a bookstore? That's what I wanna do today. I don't necessarily need to buy any books. Hey. I won't be mad if we end up leaving with some books, but I just want to walk through Barnes, look at the selection, see some books, get in the atmosphere of Barnes & Noble or just a bookstore in general, and that's what we're doing today. We're literally just going to go to a couple Barnes and walk through, see what they got, see their selection. Maybe I'll get a book. There's only one book I know I want to read before the month ends that I don't have, so we're going to have to do that. But other than that, there's nothing on my radar, nothing that I need. So this is kind of just like a little, a little vlog, but also a bookstore vlog, shall I say? I don't really know what category of vlog this will be in because we're not actually going specifically to bookshop we're just gonna go to some bookstores i also before we leave got new clothes so i have a little haul to show you guys all of it is from princess polly so thank you to princess polly for sponsoring today's video i love princess polly if you didn't know now you know i'm obsessed with their clothes they have so much on their site but my haul and the clothes that i got is kind of specifically more towards winter cozy outfits and i've been obsessed with the pieces i got i'm so excited to show you and i'm currently wearing a little set from them that i got for this haul but before i show you the clothes you guys can use my code sarah c for 20 percent off that I'll be in the description with the links to all these items and the size I got and everything if you're interested. It also ships from within the United States. There's free standard shipping, which is three to six days to the US on orders over 50 US dollars. They also offer afterpay and shop pay to all US customers, which is amazing. So now into the haul, I'm so excited again. First thing is this little set. I don't know if I'm gonna wear this today. I'm still on the fence about which outfit I wanna wear, but I got this little brown tan set that I'm obsessed with. I'm just obsessed with cardigans right now. I don't know, but make it a set and that's just like beautiful in my opinion. But the length is perfect where it hits on these knit pants they're kind of just like a high-waisted knit wide leg little pant and the material of the both of them are so thick and so soft like I'm cozy in this I'm cozy but when you make a matching outfit it just becomes so cute the next few pieces are the pieces that I wore I think it was in a few Instagram posts and I was getting questions on them and they are literally my new favorite things I wore them all weekend and they're perfect the first one is this gray wide leg pair of pants I am obsessed with these they are the most comfortable material and they are so thick and I love pants like this because you can like dress them up kind of or just like wear them casually comfy and the gray color is so cute they also have i think a black pair there's other colors in this as well and then this top i actually already have in gray that i bought a few weeks ago and i've been obsessed with it so i saw this color and i was like you know what i actually really need this and i wore it the other day to dinner and it is so comfortable so cute but i don't know why right now i'm obsessed with off the shoulder tops i think they're just so flattering so i got this little wine colored off the shoulder long sleeve and what i love about these is it comes in other colors but there's little thumb holes and i think that is like the most fun thing because there's something about putting your sleeves over your hands like this that really just make a shirt better I don't know what it is about that, but when a long sleeve can fit over thumbs like this, it's just amazing. And then this one I wore to the city the other day to lunch and just walking around and it was so comfy because this is another kind of almost knit top and it is so thick. It kept me warm all day in the cold New York weather, but what I love about this one is off one shoulder, which I think is kind of fun. And then the sleeves kind of bow out at the end. So they go a little bit wider, which I think is also fun. Again, this is one you can wear with like kind of like sweatpants, knit pants, but you can also wear with like jeans or something and you can wear it with so many different things. And the material, like I said, it's so thick. It'll keep you so warm and it's so cute i'm obsessed with little little sweaters like that right now and then i just got a pair of black jeans i love princess poly denim they have so many options and they have some of my favorite jeans ever but i don't really have any black black jeans so i got this pair they are just so perfect you can literally wear this with so many different things and i needed a black pair of jeans and like i said princess poly has just great options for denim if you're looking for any new styles or anything i'm obsessed and this is just like the perfect black because i feel like the ones i have are just like worn out black this is like pure black jeans and that's exactly what i needed another one of my absolute favorite things that i got is a sweat set and you guys know I love matching sets as you can see that I'm wearing this knit one right now but I got a pink one and I feel like I don't usually branch out to bright colors but this color is giving this color is so pretty and so cute and I have a few princess poly sweatshirts and they're just like such great material they're so thick and comfortable and this pink color is absolutely everything and then the matching sweatpants I love these because they have like the perfect waistband and also the bottoms aren't joggers they're kind of like a wide leg sweatpant which I think is just I love a good wide leg pant you guys know so I'm obsessed with this and this together the perfect matching set throw a little jacket over it i don't know i just think it's so cute put some uggs on i love matching sets it just makes an outfit just so much cuter and then last but certainly not least i got this top for a birthday dinner but i didn't wear it to that i think i'm gonna save it for new year's because i feel like the the vibe of it is kind of giving new year's and it's this sparkly long sleeve top what i love about this is the way the neckline kind of goes out a little bit because it's open back i'm obsessed with this and the sleeves kind of go out a little at the ends i think this is just so cute and the material isn't too thick i feel like it's like the 
the perfect little top material to wear on like New Year's or something like that. I feel like the sparkles, color, the fit, everything about this is just so cute. I'm so excited to wear this. And that's everything I got from Princess Polly. Again, you guys can use my code SARAC for 20% off. All this is in the description. I love Princess Polly. I'm obsessed with them. I highly recommend if you want to shop for like anything, they have so much on their website and everything is just so cute. So yeah, let me know your favorite piece. I don't know if I'm going to wear this today. I wore this the other day. So I'm like, do I want to wear it again? It's just so cute. But I also love these gray pants. So low key, maybe I'll wear these today. I don't know. Now I'm like second guessing my outfit. And I love dressing up to go to the bookstore. Not like dressing up, like I'm gonna wear sweatpants, but like dressing to go to the bookstore. I feel like you can look comfy, cute, feel like cute, look around the bookstore. I don't know, something about that vibe is just so fun. So I'm gonna figure this out. I also have a shirt from Princess Polly that's like, or t-shirt, it's white and gray. And maybe I'll wear that with the little jacket over it. Am I in a gray mood or a brown mood? This is me every day, I don't know. Even though this is really cute, but I just wore it because I am obsessed with it. It's so cute. Oh, I'm gonna figure that out. And then we're gonna head over to Barnes. I think I wanna go to the Pretty Barnes because that one's just bigger and has more selection. And I like to look at what they have kind of stocked up in there. And I just like to walk around there. It's just the best vibes. And then I wanna go to a Barnes closer to my house, just like the, the OG Barnes and see what they have. I just wanna see, that's it. I haven't been in a few weeks and I wanna see what's up, you know? You have to just like like go back and keep up with what Barnes is up to. That's that. I'm gonna go figure out my outfit. I actually may change. I don't know. We'll see. I'm gonna go figure this out and then we'll head over to Barnes. I just got here and I was thinking on the way of other books that I need and there's literally nothing else that comes to mind. The only book that I was talking about earlier that I want to get, Legendary by Stephanie Garber because I have, wait, no, finale, because I just read Legendary, which is the second in the Carnival trilogy, and I want to finish up the trilogy before this month ends. So I don't have finale, I want to get that, and there's really nothing else that it's on like my radar to buy, so we're gonna see. Maybe I'll end up with some stuff, maybe not, I don't know. Definitely finale though, I want to get that. There's a car that came up next to me, I have to wait till they leave before I can continue, because I hate vlogging by myself in public. Okay, back to what I was saying, I'm wearing the gray knit pants, and then I have this t-shirt from Princess Polly, it has like a gray car on it, I thought it matched cute, and I just got this little shirt from Aritzia. It's just like the black and white one I have, but this one's like full buttons. Those ones are like half buttons. It's my favorite thing. I live in these. They are comfortable. They're cute. I'm obsessed with them. Not sponsored. I've also been listening to A Winter in New York by Josie Silver. I've been listening to it for a few days now. I think I'm almost done. Let's see how many hours I have left. I have three hours left, so I'll probably finish this today. And I don't know why in this one, I like the storyline of it and kind of like the history of the two main characters, like families and how they kind of interconnect. I don't love the romance of it too much. I feel like... I don't know, but I do love the audiobook. I love the woman actor's voice. I love the way she gives the main guy like a New York accent, but she's British. It's really cute. And I like the way that she tells the story. I love audiobooks right now because I feel like someone's like in my head painting a picture of a story to me. I don't know why I'm like obsessed with them right now, but I'm almost done with this one. And I'm also starting, or I started this morning, Fear the Flames, and it's really good so far. I've only gotten a little bit in, but I'm excited. It's a fantasy, I think enemies to lovers romance, but I think there's dragons involved from what I've seen. Not too sure, but I'm excited about that one because I need a good fantasy romance right now but those are my two current reads i'm gonna go into barnes now we'll get finale and we'll see what else they have and i wanted to bring in my coffee but it's in the glass container cup thing and i feel like just in case i drop this i do not need glass breaking all over barns but it should stay cold in the car because there's one ice and two it's freezing out so anyway that's my game plan those are my updates let's go into barns and let's see what they got i'm so excited <laughs>
I'm back in the car. I walked around the barns and I was just looking at everything. They had like normally what I see, but I was seeing some books I want to read next year that I want to get because I was going to buy Truly Devious. I think it's like a Dark Academia YA mystery series, something like that. And I wanted to buy that, but I want to get through some of the series I have right now and books I have in my TBR. So I think that's what I want to start next year, which I'm excited about because I've heard great things about it. But I went into the YA fantasy section to find Finale and I only saw Carnival. And then I looked up on the Barnes website if they had it in stock, Finale, and they did. And I couldn't find it. One thing about me is I'm not gonna ask the workers where it is. So we're gonna go to the other barns I wanted to go to anyway. And I know that they have it. So it's fine that I didn't see it, but I didn't spend too much time in there or as much time as I wanted to. Like I wanted to sit and like read my book that I have on my Kindle. I downloaded Fear the Flames onto my Kindle. So I wanted to sit and read, but if I see one man, <laughs> not that men can't shop at barns, but if I see a man in the section that I go to, every time I go to that section, looking at YA romances and stuff like that, like I'm gonna run out of there. Like I'm not gonna take my time casually, mind my business and stay. Like I'm, I'm good. Am I the problem? I think it's men. Men are the problem. Even if you're not following me, just like wait for me to go to a different section before you could like come into the section I just walked into because I am on edge everywhere I go. So I left because that man was scary and I called Chris and ran to my car. So I'm gonna go to the other barns because I feel safe at that one and it's not as big. I feel like I know majority of the people there. I know the workers better. So we're gonna go there. I'm gonna get Finale. Maybe they have some other books, maybe a new, I don't know. But the vibes in there were great other than that guy. Like I love this barn so much. It is so beautiful and the way they have everything set up is so nice. It's so like open and so much space and this seating area which everything are so nice and all of their christmas stuff is so cute they have like wrapping paper and like all these little stuffed animal looking jelly cat things like it's really cute in there like it's my favorite barns to go to because it's just so pretty and like their little stands and setups for all those sections are so cute so it is a great barns but i'm leaving to head over to the other barns get finale and we'll see i feel like i want to buy truly devious but i know i should hold off and keep it as one i want to buy when i'm ready to start some new series next year because i'm really excited to start some new ones i just feel like right now is not the time to do it i need to finish finale i need to finish the carvel trilogy before i can do that so let's head over to the other barns and let's see what they got there if they have anything fun guys i'm back home i ended up just getting finale the barns that i went to had it thankfully and i love that the cover is purple i don't know why i love that in the middle little heart that's going on i feel like that has something to do with the prince of hearts aka Jax. i'm so excited to read this i think i'm gonna bring it with me to florida when i go and I was gonna say a few weeks, but that's like really soon. I need to start planning that. But I think I'm gonna bring this with me to just finish out this series. I wanna finish the Renegades trilogy as well. I still have to read Supernova and maybe I'll do that. I just think I'll feel complete finishing out this year, finishing those two trilogies. I'll feel good to start 2024 with those series knocked off my list. I saw some books that I do wanna read next year and I kind of just mentally noted that. But speaking of books that I wanna read next year and just like a TBR, I got a reading journal. This is from Papier. Papier? I'm not too sure how to say it but i got a little bullet journal it's just dotted pages you can like customize it so on the front i put my name reading journal and i have been going in on it and i have been recording myself kind of setting this up for 2024 for the patreon so if you're not on our patreon i do extra little videos for the highest tier the soulmates tier so if you're interested in seeing different types of videos from me including this definitely come join us and even if you don't want to see new videos but you want to read some books with us and you want to talk about books with us 
come join us. But anyway, I've been doing this and I have a page specifically for my TBR for next year, my 2024 TBR, but I only put 24 books I want to read in 2024. I'll show you guys all of the pages that I set up in a video in January. I'm going to show what I've done with this and when we start using the reading journal. I'm so excited. It's been so much fun. I've just been sitting at night cutting and pasting and coloring and listening to an audiobook. Like something about it is so therapeutic. Previously, I've tried reading journals that have like pre-filled in prompts and stuff, but I think just doing this is really fun because I can be creative with it. I don't know, but you'll see more of that. We'll talk more about that in a different video, but I just want to say, speaking of my TBR for next year, I just did my page on here that has my TBR, but I have to finish setting this up this week, and I'm so excited. It's been so much fun. I also need to check where I am in a winter in New York, because I think I'm, like, really close to being done. Days, I'm reached out to touch hands. I found it. That took way too long. I'm on chapter 31, or I'm about to finish chapter 30, but I'm about to be on page 292, and I think there's, like, 360-ish pages, maybe? 350-something? I'm not too sure, but I have under 100 pages left. I don't know how many pages that is, because I don't know how to do math, but I'm almost done with this. I'm gonna finish this today, and I also, like I said, started Fear the Flames. I think I literally got maybe 10 pages in. I'm not far at all. This is by Olivia Rose Darling, but I downloaded it on my Kindle as well because I've been reading, I've been loving reading on my Kindle. I'm in like that phase right now. Audiobooks and Kindle. I don't remember the last time I read a physical book. Like this whole month, I think I've been listening and Kindling my books. Anyway, those are my reading updates. That was my book shopping, Barnes experience. I love being in Barnes and being surrounded by books. It's just so great. And sometimes you just need to walk around a bookstore. Maybe you don't buy anything. Maybe you don't need to buy anything. You always want to buy something but I just held myself back from buying more books than I need to because I have a goal next year I need to get through this TBR this physical TBR needs to shorten no lesson I think lesson is the right word but thank you guys for coming along with me I hope you had fun I had fun I had a wonderful time I think this is our last book shopping video together of the year which is crazy but don't worry there'll be lots of book shopping together in the next year in the new year. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you did and I'll see you hopefully in the next one. I think there's one more video coming in December of this year, which is crazy to say, but I will see you guys hopefully in that video. Bye!